Hello, welcome. Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the derivation of recursive formula for sample mean. So we know that for a given sample of n values, it is x of i for i equal to 1, 2, 3 up to n, the sample mean is given by the arithmetic average that is 1 by n multiplied by the summation from i, I j equal to I mean i equal to 1 to n of the values x of i. So this is the expression for the sample mean. So there are uh, in signal processing and other applications there are always situations where you have this data available one at a time that is you want to process this data at one at a time then then we need to have a formula that actually process x of i one at a time. That is, we want to have a recursive formula. So we can rewrite this definition as 1 by n plus summation of j equal to 1 to n minus 1 x of i plus x of n. From, from, but, from, but from the original definition, this is equal to 1 by n into uh, by, by simply multiplying with uh, multiplying and dividing with n minus 1 for this summation we have n minus 1 by n minus 1 into summation j equal to 1 to n minus 1 x of i plus x of n but if you look at this term that is 1 by n minus 1 into this summation which is the definition of the sample mean for n minus 1 values so we have 1 by n into n minus 1 into the sample mean of n minus 1 values we also have x of uh, we also have the latest value x of n therefore this can be rewritten as the sample mean at the nth value is equal to x of n minus I mean the sample mean at n minus 1 minus 1 sample mean at n minus 1 divided by n plus x of n the latest value divided by n therefore the recursive formula for sample mean is equal to the sample mean at the previous value plus the latest the, the ratio of the latest value minus the sample mean at n minus 1 with n. So this can be viewed as a adjustment to the previous sample mean. That is, we have the n uh, we have the sample mean at n minus 1 and we have the latest measurement. Then we basically adjust the sample mean with this factor um, with this uh, term that is x n x of n the latest measurement minus the previous sample mean divided by the index of the measurement so then we get the sample mean at the nth measurement thanks for watching